May we all rise in honor of the bride. a separate path that led you to this very moment. And that's what the unity candle will represent later on in the ceremony, how your two individual lives will now become one through marriage. Thank you, and you may be seated. Well, Stephanie, Brian, if there's a few things that I hope would carry along its way with the two of you throughout your journey together, it would be for you both to always be willing, from the heart, to listen, learn, and to love. And by that I simply mean for you two to always be willing to listen to one another. What it is that they have to offer, and what makes them feel whole, and complete, and part of this relationship. Because after all, they just may be the voice of reason. And secondly, is the ability to learn no matter at what point in time, always be willing to learn whatever it takes to help the other fulfill every desire, every wish, every dream and goal that they may have. And lastly, but most importantly, is the ability to love, to love one another unconditionally, which means no strings attached. It's an ongoing love. And this is the type of love that I hope the two of you would wish to express to one another each and every day. Keeping in mind, Brian, that Stephanie's happiness will always be far more important than your own. And also, Stephanie, that Brian's happiness will be more important than yours. And the reason for that is, with that in your minds, and in your hearts, I have no doubt that your lives together will be everything that you want it to be. Keeping in mind to always love, honor, cherish, and respecting the other, allowing nothing or no one to ever come between the two of you. Brian, with your presence here today, alongside Stephanie, <coughs> do you take her as your wife, sir? I do. Stephanie, I'll ask you the same. With your presence here today, alongside Brian, do you take him as your husband? I do. And I'll ask for, for you to hand over your bouquet. I'm staying under dress the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> if the two of you would turn and face each other and hold each other's hands. <laughs> Perfect. Now, as you look into each other's eyes, you will see the very reason of what brought you here this afternoon, proving that at this moment, there is no one more important than who stands before you. So Brian, as you look into your eyes, I'll have you repeat your vows. I, Brian, take you, Stephanie. I, Brian, take you, Stephanie. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will always be there for you. I will always be there for you. Through the good times and the bad. Through the good times and the bad. Whether we are rich or poor. Whether we were rich or poor. Stephen? In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Through laughter and tears. Laughter and tears. I will love and cherish you. I will love and cherish you. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Thank you. Well, Stephanie, as you look into Brian's eyes. <sighs> your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you repeat your vows. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I, Stephanie, take you, Brian. I, Stephanie, take you, Brian. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will always stand beside you. I will always stand beside you. Through success and misfortune. Through success and misfortune. 
through the joys and sorrows of life. Through the joys and sorrows of life. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Through laughter and tears. Through laughter and tears. I will love and cherish you. I will love and cherish you. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Thank you. <sighs> now these rings will seal this commitment. They're not only tokens, but symbols of the very <coughs> love and devotion that the two of you are expressing here today. And my hope is that in each and every day with the two of you wearing these rings, may they constantly remind you of that promise and pledge that you've just made to one another. And in time, the rings themselves may lose beauty, but I hope that the two of you would not only value, but take honor in wearing these rings for what they truly represent. And through your friends and family, the beauty will shine through you both. And the two of you will always remain a wonderful example to all. So Brian, as you take Stephanie's ring, as you place it upon her ring finger, if you would please repeat, with this ring, with this ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise to be your faithful and loving husband. To be your faithful and loving husband. And I am so honored, I'm so honored to call you my wife. To call you my wife. Thank you, sir. Now, Stephanie, as you take Brian's, as you place it upon his ring finger, if you would please repeat, with this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be your faithful and loving wife. To be your faithful and loving wife. And I am so honored. And I am so honored. To call you my husband. To call you my husband. Thank you. And also the two of you to step behind the unity candle. Behind. As I mentioned earlier, the two of you have each had a separate path that led you to this very point. And it's the individually lit tapers that are representing your individual lives. And in lighting the center candle, you'll not only be uniting yourselves, but that of your families as well. So I'll ask for the two of you to take a hold of your individual taper, and if the two of you can light the center candle at the same time, which is also symbolizing the creation of a new journey with new memories together. And once that, I'll ask for the two of you to take your individual taper, turn and blow it, blow it out. And I'll invite you guys back to the front of the podium. Now, Brian, Stephanie, if you love someone, you'll be loyal to them no matter what the cost. You will always stand beside them. You will always love and trust them. And you will stand your ground in defending them no matter what. Now, there's a short saying I like to leave with the two of you. I think it's fitting for marriage. And it simply says, don't walk in front of me. I may not follow. Don't walk behind me. I may not lead, but walk beside me as a friend. Because after all, throughout your journey together in marriage, that is what the two of you will be constantly building on, is a deeper, richer, stronger friendship built upon the foundation of your wonderful relationship, the two of you, already have and it certainly has been a joy to be part of the celebration with you both and i'd also hope that the two of you would not only love each other for who they are but for what they are also helping to make of you so the 22nd of december a day that will now mark your anniversary in the presence of friends and family as witnesses the two of you had each showed your intentions by the exchanging of your vows and the exchanging of your rings. Therefore, with the authority vested in me by the state of Nevada, it is my honor and my privilege to now be able to pronounce you as husband and wife. Brian, 